my name is Roberta. I'm from Lithuania. Uh, for those who don't know, it's a small country between Russia and Poland. Uh, besides, it's in the European Union. Uh, I'm born in a classical Christian family. Since long time, I was looking for the truth around me. Is it really God what we read in the Bible? Although Jesus didn't say, I am God. And why we don't have two identical Bibles? Hundreds of divisions and every church explains as he wants. Then I saw some places in the Bible with many wrong stories and we have many stories to be unlogical, unscientific, unmoral, and don't forget the large amount of contradictions. <laughs> Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, before we start our video, um, I got an email from this person. I will show you the email, but after we answer this uh, stupid things, this uh, woman, she said. A Muslim is speaking about logic. Is it logic that your vagina is going to fit for 200 or 300 mile penis in the heaven of Allah? Is it logic that your butt will be one mile size? Is it logic that Allah will make your boobs uplifted? Is it logic that the sperm is going to be the reign of heaven? Is it logic that each man he will have the power of thousands of men on earth for sex? Is it logic that your God Allah will give you 72 whore, not you, the man, you are, you are going to be one of those whores? Is it logic that uh, 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 Salmon he have a flying carpet fit for 600,000 chair? Is it logic that your Prophet Muhammad he fly to Allah in the top of a donkey have two wings? Is it logic that his God gave him 50 prayer and after a lot of argument Allah gave him a big discount from 50 to 5? Is it logic that your God Allah he is a leg? Is it logic that the King Salmon or the Prophet Salmon in Islam he lost his power when he lost his ring? Is it logic that he have a bird and his work as a pimp to look for women who have no hair in their legs? Is it logic that uh, Prophet Musa and the Prophet Al Khadr they have a wheel and they used to carry him and one day they lost him in a rock? Is it logic that the rock stole the clothes of Musa and ran? You know, if I want to continue with logic, I will make a flood over your head. So shut up and shame on you to open your mouth and you are a hypocrite and you are a liar now let me show everybody this woman she is saying in the video that there is many contradiction in the bible and there is many sect in the in the, for christianity which one is the right so i send an email saying let me show you so i send this email saying to her that you know you are talking about christianity they have sect you're a prophet he said that Islam will be 73 sect only one will go to heaven and the rest will go to hell in a Christianity we don't have sect any sect it doesn't matter the Lord he said the one who belong to me is the one who do my will the one who do my teaching the one who don't even say only Lord Lord but he do my teaching we don't have sect in Christianity and this is your prophet saying that when you go to heaven only one sect will go and I ask her like is it is it is it uh, make sense to you that you will go to heaven and you will be sex a slave for somebody now let me show you the answer and the response of this woman to me in the email she sent me another email she said I don't understand your point I said well I sent her another email too saying just watch the video I'm sending you because I sent her a video about 73 sect of Islam let me show you the email this is my email I said to her nicely did you watch the video I send you watch it again because sound she do not understand my email now today I received this email I'm not going to read for you you read for yourself and you tell me what kind of uh, 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 is that a person who convert to a religion saying to us he belong to God I don't think it's a it's a big fat lie this is a Muslim woman she never been a Christian look at you know no one no one who was a Christian he will say did you F your sister in the name of Jesus is that a woman who converted to Islam she will say such a thing I'm not going to read the whole email you know just just you know look at it look 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 <laughs> I don't know what to say 
but I will name this video who convert tree to Islam let me show you who convert tree to Islam that was virginity is a must now some of you guys was like no 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 both of them has to be virgins blah 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 but this was in fact the point I was getting at um 50 50 sure so how is it fair that these guys off doing this are going to get their what an untouched wife uh, you know whatever that means exactly um if they themselves are not or like have had sex with more people than I can count um, and not even in relationships just one night stands and like I said the girls are just to blame but um but yeah they themselves do not expect to get married to a man that was never touched and then there's the issue of not being touched now I have you know Muslim girlfriends um, boy Muslim girlfriends um, now here lies problem they wear their job um, they are very proper very prim you never know they are the ones giving head, and yes, in the libraries, and they are the ones getting it up the ass because they don't want to lose their virginity. <laughs> now, these are the so-called untouched girls, the girls that don't date, the girls that wear the jobs, you know, the really sweet ones that you guys love. Um, but they're not really, you know what I mean? They're not untouched, which is like driving me insane because what? Brothers, brothers and sisters, our sisters in Islam, they stay virgin. Brothers and sisters, our sister in Islam is not like those American women, brothers and sisters. But I'm not going to tell you how our brothers and sisters, how our sisters stay virgins. They go to the library, sisters. How they stay virgins? By going to the library, brother. Dr. Zakaria Naik, are you sure? Yes, all our brothers and sisters, they go to the library. You ask where is your son, where is your daughter, they are in the library, all of them. What they are doing in the library? They are studying Quran, brother. Yes. In the libraries, and they are the ones getting it up the ass because they don't want to lose their virginity. Um, they are very proper, very prim, you never know. They are the ones giving head, and yes. In the libraries, and they are the ones getting it up the ass because they don't want to lose their virginity. Now, these are the so-called untouched girls, the girls that don't date, the girls that wear the jobs, you know, the really sweet ones that you guys love. Um, but they're not really, you know what I mean? They're not untouched, I know, I know. which is like driving me insane because what makes this any, Absolutely. any right? You know what I mean? Like, neither way it's right. These girls say that they're untouched, they can go get checked. No, they, yes, they're in fact a virgin. But they have, in fact, seen more dicks than I will ever want to see in a life. <laughs> you see, this is a Muslim convert. How many, by the way, you want to see in your lifetime? She is saying those women, they saw the D, you know, more than what she ever want to see. God knows how many she want to see. Like, what, 1,000 more, 1 million? <laughs> this is who convert to Islam. You have to be a mental. <laughs> time um, then you have these guys who say they want their women untouched that they're going to marry but they think it's okay to go off and sleep with all these so-called whores here in Canada now just because some of those men aren't comfortable with marrying a non-virgin because they are afraid that because they've had something to compare them to that they might be inadequate I, I can't even get into to discussing this right now because like it's just giving me a headache I have too much to say in too little time all what you need to, to do to see the hypocrisy of Muslims just type the word Ma'alaya in YouTube and you will see tons of Muslim women dancing shaking their butt I, you don't have even to look for it it's all over the internet what do there are a bunch of hypocrites yeah all of them they are virgins all of them they are you know our women they are very like diamond our women like they are like diamonds oops like diamonds you know our women they are not like yours our women they are very 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 virgins our women they're not like those women around the world you know our women they are always virgins how they go to the library mashallah library <laughs>
So they post for you somebody supposedly convert to Islam and then when you talk to them you see a very filthy low class answer if, if full of the F word this is who convert to Islam and you know they are going after European to convert them to Islam who when they are women they are a bunch of what, what I'm going to say I'm not going to call names but this is their women you know just go and check yourself and see what I'm talking about they are so much you know attacking others you know those are the Muslims they are a nation of hypocrisy the same as their prophet who is the prophet of hypocrites follow with me with the coming video Christ is Lord Muslims are hypocrite I mean see you later